Hello everyone, welcome to the new video on Net Backup Appliance and uh, today we'll explore the web portal of the Net Backup Appliance 5230. So let me log in by putting my username and password. So if you have been following this track, in the last video we upgraded the Net Backup Appliance from version 2.7 to 3.0 so as you can see that uh, with the version 3.0 we have the right as branding and uh, the name of my server is snb 5230 and this server is acting as a master and media server uh, now net backup has a concept of master and media server now if you don't know what does that mean i will recommend please watch my previous video in which i have explained in detail what are the different architecture and how you can deploy a net backup appliance in your existing as well as new environment so i am on the web portal of net backup appliance and as you can see that the hardware is in healthy state i have my call home service functional too and then there is no software updates at that time because we just recently upgraded to 3.0 version so let's explore some of the options. Let me go into the monitor option and go to hardware. And this page gives us all the information about the hardware of the product. So it gives me information about the adapter, CPU, disk, so you can see this on your screen. So let me just see in the CPU. So 5230 has Intel Xeon processor which is 2.2 gigahertz. It's a 2 CPU uh, processor and uh, you can get all the information over here. And uh, then I have the information about the disk space also. So you have a RAID 1 and RAID 6 configured. So all the data is uh, saved in uh, RAID 6 so that allows you up to two disk failure and these are hot swappable and your operating system is on RAID 1. So that is the disk space and then you get information about the fan, the network card, the PCIe power supply, uh, you can also look at the temperature and uh, it gives you the information about that too and if there is something wrong with the call home technology, the information can be sent directly to uh, if you have the uh, protection available. So that is the hardware part. Now let's look at the manage option and we'll see the storage in this case. So I am in the storage option under manage and this gives me the options and information about all the disk space that I have configured. And if you're familiar with net backup, we have the concept of uh, different kind of disk available such as advanced disk, a basic disk as well as MSTP or media server deduplication pool. So it gives all the information over here. And for example, if I, conf if I click on advanced disk. I get further information over here so the available capacity is around 496 gigabyte and if I want I can resize by clicking on the resize button and I can uh, increase or decrease the size over here. So as I mentioned if you're familiar with net backup you have the option of configuring the advanced disk and uh, MSDP pool with that comes some of the advanced features and in case you want to use this you need to have the either platform based complete edition licensing with the net backup or uh, DPO or data protection optimization option licensing in order involved if you want to configure the advanced disk or MSTP uh, pool within your net backup. So let me go back to the storage.
so likewise I can go under the MSTP pool and uh, configure the storage over there I can increase or decrease the size so right now it is 3 TB the available is 2.98 terabyte and the used is 24.58 gigabyte so it's, it's, a, it's a very good uh, option with the net backup you get a complete uh, information about the different disk option available with the net and if I go under the host, it gives me some other properties of the net backup appliance. And uh, I have some more other options to configure over here. But I also want to show you, let's look at the setting option and let's go to the authentication. So over here, if you have uh, Active Directory or LDAP or Kerberos, you can use different ways of authenticating uh, depending upon what you have in your environment. I can also go to the user management. And uh, over here, I should be able to add or remove the user for which I want to give access to the appliance. So as you can see that I'm logged in as an administrator so my name is Grish so you can see over here that uh, I'm the admin for this appliance but if I want to add I can add the user by clicking on the add button and providing the information over here if I want to delete any user I can also highlight this and I can uh, delete or revoke the permissions whichever way I want I can set it up over here so very user friendly and uh, all these things can be configured under the setting and authentication and then you have some other options such as network date and time and all those things you will be able to configure that so this was a brief overview of uh, uh, the web portal for netback of appliance 5230 i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching